safety car. And that solved the problem about second in the Constructors' Championship at the moment because both McLarens are still running in the points. First and second, that'll do, thank you very much. And both Williams are out of the race. First of all, Ralph Schumacher and then Montoya. This is crucial for, cool, uh, for Hakkinen then, of course. He takes the lead of the race. They're, they're obviously running more fuel than anybody else. They've played the waiting game. But look at the traffic he's having to put up with. I think McLaren probably will bring him in sooner rather than later, otherwise he's going to lose that advantage, but he's not pitting this time around. They will, he, he'll easily clear the Jaguar by the end of the straight, but he's still got two more medium-fast cars to get past on the next lap. It's Della Rosa, he's past Della Rosa now, the next one is Jacques Villeneuve in the BAR, who is running in 12th position, and then it's Jean Alessi, and here is the Ferrari bearing down on us, Rubens Barrichello, and there's no doubt at all about the fact that the McLarens will have lost time treading their way through the traffic, but only for a short while, because then it's going to be Rubens Barrichello's problem. He's got to get past the traffic that they will already have cleared. Lap 42 now, 31 to go. Well, remember, Barrichello is two stopping. He is currently 11 seconds ahead of Michael Schumacher, who will not stop again. That is a Minardi. That's Alex Jung still coasting around. We saw him coast into the pit lane. He's obviously gone back out for another attempt. Still got the problem. So uh, I think Barrichello is not looking that great. He's only 11 ahead of Michael, and he's got to make another pit stop. So the McLarens are looking strong. When they pit, will they manage to get out in front of this Ferrari of Michael Schumacher? He's lapping on a 115 and a half at the moment. Coulthard on a 114.9. It's Coulthard on the move now. Well, Ross Braun, the technical director of Ferrari, is the record to be the guru of race strategies. It may well be that McLaren are outthinking him in this race because on lap 43 there is Micah Hakkinen and he's got ahead of Jean Alessi to lap the French Sicilian who is in 10th place. Pedro de la Rosa has been lapped of course. Yes, de la Rosa fumbling, fumbling himself and now he's got to get out of Coulthard's way because he's being lapped. He will see blue flags waving aplenty and uh, doesn't appear to be ready to do that at the moment. Maybe he doesn't realise that with that slip up in turn one, the other McLaren has now homed in on him. So, Hakkinen then has cleared the three cars. That 43 race order, Hakkinen, Coulthard, uh, Montoya walks in, third is Barrichello, fourth is Ralph Schumacher, and of course both the Ferraris have stopped, neither of the McLarens have stopped. Heidfeld is up to fifth, Irvine is up into sixth position in the Jaguar, seventh is Frenson, eighth is Trulli, ninth is Panis, tenth is Jean Alessi, out come the McLaren mechanics carrying the tyres. I wonder if it'll be for Coulthard who's tucked up in traffic, or will it be first for Hakkinen? Hakkinen as he was ahead on the grid under the McLaren arrangement, uh, has the choice of when he wants to pit. So I would imagine he would go longer, and indeed he has. Hakkinen goes through. Coulthard then pits. It saves him taking that traffic. Now it's going to be crucial. Will they be anywhere near Michael Schumacher when they come out? Will can Coulthard get out anywhere in front of Schumacher? Because that'll put Hakkinen in good shape too. It's going to be close. It is indeed. And so here is David. seconds and there is the Ferrari and here coming down the pit lane towards us now is the second I think that's an arrows Murray I think you'll find that's an arrows that's uh, passing down it's orange rather it than the scarlet right. so which of the Ferraris was it from that high shot because we know that uh, Barrichello was uh, 11 seconds ahead of Michael Schumacher and that's Della Rosa and Panis and sorry and Villeneuve who'd been threatening to get together as the leaders came through obviously having a tangle down there at turns uh, 9 and 10. Yeah, a dreadful race for Jacques Villeneuve. Uh, he's in 10th position. He hasn't been in yet and lots of others have. And here is here is the Jaguar cutting, trying to get through on the inside. Pedro de la Rosa clipping Jacques Villeneuve who to be fair has uh, not been backwards about doing that sort of thing to others in the past. And uh, there's a reversal of positions here. Jack Villeneuve coming in from now 12th position in the BAR. The weather continues to be superb. The track temperatures still remain.